Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on 06 July 2023. Happy birthday to me. 53 years old today. Holy fucking shit. 31 years fucking doing this. Um, unbelievable. Anyway, a uh, special little birthday treat. Uh, the 2 a.m. move in Tokyo. Back in my 30s and 40s, I would have been all over this like a fucking rash. Um, but in my 50s, not so much. Uh, CAD yen uh, broke through 45. Euro yen broke through 60. Swiss yen broke through 40. Sterling yen broke through 05. The question now is, is this just a little bit of a clear out um, before the big numbers going forward today we have so i would say smaller numbers but important adp unemployment claims uh ism services i guess ism services is important um and th these numbers are important why if they miss if they miss left if they come in soft um i think it's bye bye birdie um on these yen crosses and even dollar yen without intervention is just going to plummet left even though rates are higher um so i think it's going to be a very very telling 48 hours let's see uh, this is a classic right like yesterday at the end of the day i just i wrote um, in my journal i wrote all of these levels i was like oh there's what you call i don't know a confluence of levels or like looks like this is going to be the moment um the yen crosses go we'll have to see um you know london's gonna get up it's 6 a.m in london right now some of the early birds are up uh this is already going to be lower it looks like um this is the sterling yen chart here we've already traded down to 73. <clears throat> let's see if this uh if this is the big turn um very very interesting to watch let's look at dollars are uh this has every there's every reason this thing can go sky high uh you want to collect some of this today of all days um risk off yields higher um and where do you go for that trade you either sell stocks which we are intrinsically not that good at uh, or you sell emerging market currencies which as it happens um, the data will tell you we are pretty good at so this is what we stick to we stick to our knitting here um, you can buy dollars are where do you where are you sure there's going to be stops 1905 are we going to get those today 20 handles uh i don't know can you go into tomorrow non-farm payroll with a packet of dollars are on no uh, so just be tactical uh and see what you can do uh with some dollars are today right hand side uh, that's what we're thinking we've been short kiwi um it's just fucking annoying right uh just won't won't go down the way it should uh we like kiwi left hand side we're going to use this line up here as kind of our guidepost it comes in at 04. uh you can probably just sell high ones in kiwi same trade in aussie um got this big doji cooking here on the on the four hourly uh and that's that looks pretty unpleasant that bar there 66.34 back up to 66.53 um aussie and kiwi should go down uh risk off and china um you know in jail in the jailhouse china gold uh we're worried about gold we had 14 we had 1914 bids in then we canceled them for the minutes 1477 the low uh it's kind of funny we wouldn't have gotten them anyway uh back at 18. now we're wondering if we're going to revisit uh 1890 so we had a good little uh good little run in gold there from figure up to 30 uh now we're just looking for a place to buy this 
Higher rates are not good for gold, but risk off is 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 good for gold, and we think risk off is going to be is going to drive the bus um, going forward here. So it's tricky because you got to leave your stop below eighteen ninety, or you've got to buy when everyone's puking at eighteen ninety. We're gonna, I think, uh, use the latter strategy. Look at the ten year. Ding dong, approaching four um, percent. That's pretty cool. We don't, we're not trading this. Um, I know a bunch of my hedge fund buddies are happy about this. These guys are short, max short tens, um, so they're long yield. So that's pretty good for them. Happy for them. This is the one that doesn't make sense. Uh, oil. I put a little bag of kitty, kitty litter on some shorts. Um, I only bet, um, you know, only bet the poop sand for cats on this because historically I'm just not that good at oil. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to push my chips in on something that I historically suck at. But oil should go lower here. Um, higher rates, weaker economy, lower demand, lower dollar yen. Um, stronger dollar elsewhere has all the makings for oil a heck of a lot lower uh, but we'll see this price is delayed uh, I think oils at 55 right now 7155 I don't think I know it is finally stocks I was sure 4505 was going to trade um, on a sort of a zipper but I don't know. Now I'm not so sure. Like we had all the makings of it yesterday with that big opening bar. Let me pull that up. This uh, bar here, the three o'clock bar in um, Europe. Market opens at three thirty in Europe, and then followed by this bar. That was a, it was a cool, cool twenty five handles, twenty handles, twenty three handles, and so it looked for sure that we were going to take a little. Looksy, looksy, doo doo, above forty five hundred. We did not, um, and now, like I said, I'm not so sure. This uh, is also delayed, so this is actually trading at forty four sixty now. So, um, careful here. This has um, this has the makings of risk off. Uh, dollar yen one forty three eighty five. Look, I'm going to cut it short here. Uh, we're short some yen cross. We're going to look to buy some dollars R today tactically and manage the risk events appropriately. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.